fencing with gators his whole life. He's a pro. Well, you be the judge. Kenny's going to show his fans how to manhandle one of these 350-pound man-eaters. Step one, drag the gator around the ring by the tail to show him who's boss. Step two, wrench open that mouthful of razor-sharp teeth. Step three, stick your head in the mouth and yell down their throat, Yo, your mama's a handbag! It's skull sandwich time. The gator has a death grip on Kenny's head. An assistant tries to save Kenny. A man hops the fence and tries to pry the gator off Kenny's head with a pole. More men join in the wrestling match. And they finally freed Kenny from the bloodthirsty monster. Kenny's head's got more holes in it than Dennis Rodman's nipples. You know, I thought I was dead. And first thing that popped into my head. He's either going to say, teeth or my kids. Or my kids. And you know, I guess it pops into everybody's head when, they, when they're dying. They think of their kids. Hey, here's a slow motion look at that attack. Notice before Kenny sticks his head in the gator's jaws, he tries to wipe the sweat off his brow. Gators have very sensitive taste buds. Their jaws will stay open until something touches their tongue. Kenny missed a tiny drop of sweat. It's a salty sweat, and they don't like that taste at all. But they certainly do like the taste of human blood. So he didn't want to let go, and you know, he wasn't about to let anybody take his food away. You can't keep a wrestler like Kenny out of the alligator pit. But he's changed his act. No more head in the jaw tricks. Now it's only hands. Heck, you got two of those, but you only got one head. Ain't that right, Kenny? The attack wasn't a total waste. While Kenny's head was deep inside the gator's mouth, he learned something about him he never knew. He breathed on me and I smelled bad breath. <laughs>